Well, okay, you can't really see it because of the stupid screen. I attempted to move the tractor and I couldn't figure it out. So it's just um, basically sitting there halfway into the driveway because I couldn't figure out how to actually work it. Um, I got it to go forward, but like it wouldn't steer. Like I'd steer the wheel and the front tires would like move, but then it would just like drift the other way. And then I got it to that point and it just like spun there and wouldn't go forward anymore. And even if I gave it a little like, I think gas, I think the pedal that I was stepping on was the gas because it would rev up more. It would just still spin there the same way. So obviously I don't know how to work it and I'm trying not to have a mental breakdown about it. But yeah, it's stuck in the driveway. So don't know if I'm going to get Hazel later or not. We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> okay. I managed to get my trailer out via moving the flatbed that was in front of it and then dragging the round bale that was also in front of it. <laughs> I had a toe strap, so I put the toe strap like around the round bale and then like it would roll as I'd pull it. So I'd put the strap back over and then it'd roll again. So I put the strap back over and I'd roll again. So I managed to get it and now I'm <laughs> on a nap. But we're gonna, I'm waiting for a tire to air up and then we're gonna go get Hazel. So, yeah. Not really, not totally sure where I wanna put her. Probably just in with BB and the Colts. And we'll just put her in there and then, um, I don't know. We'll see if, if I decide to move her later, I will. But uh, I hope it's not gonna be too cold out for her because she's basically shedded completely out. Um, but like today it's not that cold. It's just a little windy, but she has been living inside. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll find out if I have to throw a, a spare blanket on her. I think I have one other blanket. I can throw one on her if, if she doesn't freak out, who knows? I mean, she might. We'll cross that bridge when I get there, I guess. <laughs> Right, guys we're here to get hazel at this nice horse farm over here i don't know if you can see there's horses back there they have a bunch of beautiful paint horses here that i wish were in my budget to buy one we have a nice massive living quarters right there but anyway i'm gonna go get her and hopefully she'll just load right up and we can go okay guys hazel loaded right up which is good. I just talked to that other trainer there for a while and we're gonna get headed home. She is completely shut it out. Like she is slick, like it's July. So she might fluff back out a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get home. All right, guys, we made it. What do you think, lady? Where we at? Say hi to your friends. There she is. Yes, Luna. There's the wild pony. Look at, look how slick she is. Probably cold from that trailer ride, but um, I think I'm gonna put her out here just in a stall. These guys don't even care. They're like, what, who? Um, in one of these stalls to just get everybody over the fence first. And go from there. You gonna behave? Good girl. Yeah, do you remember me? Good girl. Alright. Plenty of room. Girl. I know.
What do you think, boys? Behave yourselves. Good girl, Hazel. You look so good, don't ya? Where'd they go? What are you guys doing? <laughs> what are we running for? <laughs> you getting everyone wound up, Hazel? Well, yeah, you can see she's settled in fine. <laughs> I think she's probably running around it. pushing everyone around trying to find someone to play with good lord <laughs> he's like someone play with me Okay, this is the supplement that I ordered. Get it freaking open. Okay, I ordered this from Chewy actually for um, Hazel because when she was sick and I took her to the trainers a week later, they put her on this and. They said it helped her tremendously um, improve her her balance and stability. If you guys remember when I took her over there initially, she had some like mold toxicity problems. So they put her on a like a vitamin E selenium supplement. So I bought this because I want to try to keep her on it. Um, Horses feed half an ounce per day as top dress or mixed with feed. Half an ounce. The enclosed scoop measures approximately half an ounce. Okay, I don't see a scoop in here. I don't see a scoop. found it eventually <laughs> so this much per day and I'm actually going to be giving it to BB as well I was talking to that trainer and um, he said that this supplement has worked really good for them 
with their horses with IMM, which is what BB has and why she kind of looks crappy all the time. So he said to give her this as well and hopefully it will help her improve. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep Hazel on it hopefully all summer and uh, we'll see if I can go get them both to come in. <laughs> okay. I got her in, just took a little convincing. She, um, so she had been getting a little bit of grain at the other place, so I can tell that she's used to it. She, she heard BB eating grain and was like, um, I'm pretty sure I get that too. So she's just getting a little bit. She gets like, which one of these? Cause you're kind of a half a lump. Yeah, you don't need a whole lot. I might just hang out with her and pet her a little bit and get used to me again. You're fine, you don't need to spook. Good girl. You let me scratch you? Yeah. Yeah, you have no winter hairs. Look at how slick you are. She definitely put on some muscle. I mean, you're fine. She's look at her manes all growing back in. Good girl. Yeah. So yeah, she just needs to get used to me again. Yeah, okay, just got this bell ring on. You guys were a bit dramatic today. It was really, really kind of ridiculous. So I put the bale in with my tractor and I didn't even think about Thomas videoing me for the vlog, but um, you can see we made a little bit of a mess cause it's so wet in here. But um, all went good. The bale, the last bale was right here. So I put it over here to get it out of the complete slop but so I pulled it in and then I drove the tractor here and then it wasn't stopping so I was like how do I stop you can see my tire mark goes all the way up to that gate didn't hit it but stopped right in front of it so then I had to back up to drop the bale and then try to turn around in all this muck so but they got a bale so that's good and they were really ridiculous and ran around like idiots sprinting all over the place so like they've never seen a tractor in their lives which they have many, many times throughout their whole lives. So, a little dramatic. Don't you walk into me. Beat your butt. Anyway, I'm over here at the other farm with Louise and Pat. Pat got tied up because he's a jerk. Aren't ya? You really are. And so for those of you that don't know Louise and Patrick, they live next door to me and I take care of them, help take care of them. Uh, don't flip it. Patrick's technically, he's my horse. I um, got him from a friend for Louise when her herd mate died. So she was all alone, but um, we're out here today because Louise, she is old. She's like probably 25 or so. And she's just, she's getting a little bit skinny. Um, they've got round bills, but uh, she's getting a little thin and she's old. So, you know, it is kind of is what it is. She's feral. So like she doesn't tie, she's not trained for anything. She's not halter broke. So we have to tie up Patrick so that she can eat her grain. And I put some like pelleted dewormer in there, but um, they're gonna start just giving them some grain once a day. But um, for her to eat her dewormer, Pat needs to be tied up. Huh, Patrick? I know, you're annoyed. You poor soul. But um, yeah, Patrick's gotten used to just not working for a living. So he's just kind of got an attitude, but yeah. Okay. So if you guys have been listening in the videos lately, I've been giving a shout out to Guts Busta Hay Nuts because I have a discount code with them and I've been waiting on mine to come in the mail and I think they finally got here today. I don't know what that is. Here they are. That one even has an orange stream. Okay, so I ordered two of them. This one is the two and a half inch small knotted hay net. Um, just the classic knotted hay net 
two and a half inch poles. So this one isn't like a super slow feed one. This is kind of just a standard. Um, so like, I like to have kind of a variety of hay nets. I don't want them all to be slow feed. For the most part, that's what I use. But sometimes like when we're just at a show or even like after our um, endurance rides and stuff, I want my horse to be able to freely eat. Um, and when we're camping, you know, some they, I, they just don't all need to be slow fed. So this one was pretty standard size. It's a little bit smaller than normal. Like the holes aren't giant, but they're not like super tiny either. So they're about that big. And so this is the knotted one. The other one is the knot less. So yeah, you can kind of, you'll be able to see the different in texture. This is kind of more like, um, it's a plasticky cable type. And then it's got like the big seam on the side of it, but it's got all the little knots in between the, the net. So they're actually like all tied together. But yeah, so it's not, this is the small one. So it's not, um, you know, huge, but you'll fit a, like a couple flakes in there for sure. And then this one is the knotless slow feed net. And I don't know what size this one is. This one's obviously a lot bigger. It's got a lot bigger package. And this one's got the purple. So this one, this one's a lot bigger. It could fit four or five flakes in there. And it's the not list kind. So you get, this one is really small. Look how tiny those holes are. And it's more of like a soft, it almost feels like, not like yarn, but this is more, see how this is more like cable-y? And this is more soft um, knitted type. Yeah, you can see the two textures there. So yeah, it's more of like a knitted type thing and you can tell it doesn't have the big knots in the middle. So yeah, this one is really tiny. So this one will be nice because sometimes I will say when we are camping, a lot of times I take two horses because even though I don't need two horses, but just in case somebody gets injured or, you know, I, I ride one really hard the next day, I feel like they need a day off. Um, I'll bring two horses. Well, that other horse that's not being ridden doesn't need to just chow all day. So like putting hay in this, that will last them most of the day and they can just kind of pick and stuff like that. So, so yeah, it's nice to have a variety because I've got some standard, like, um, this is like, this is probably one inch. So I think my other ones are like one and a half or two inch. This one's two and a half. So I'll have kind of a variety of sizes, which is nice to just, you know, depending on where we're going. So yeah. Anywho, um, those are my Guts Busta hay nets. Let's see. This came with the knotless one. So that, that was the bigger one. And it reduces hay wastage, stimulates grazing, reduces boredom, reduces stable vices, reduces choke. Recommended by vets, reduces incidence of ulcers and colic. For first time users, introduce your horses to their hay, hay net over a few days while providing loose hay nearby. Hungry horses are more likely to damage nets. If your horse is shot or has chips or splits in its hooves, don't hang a net loaded or placed on the ground. So yeah, just basic like warnings there. This one, okay, this one was the deluxe knotless hay net, three quarter inch. So those aren't even one inch holes. Um, so yeah, go ahead and check out my affiliate link down below and, um, use my code. I think my code's just MT horses at checkout. We'll get you 10% off. So show season's coming up, travel season's coming up. So if you guys need more hay nets, um, you can check them out there.
I'm gonna go ahead and make sure. Right, guys i'm gonna go ahead and end off this video here thanks for hanging out with me these last few days but i think this video is getting long and tomorrow i go back to work so that damn groundhog is in the yard again Ugh. but i'm gonna go out to feed cowboy his dinner and hang out the rest of the night so thanks for watching today's video i will leave my affiliate link and the discount code for guts bust to hay nets down below so make sure to check them out and um like comment subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys later bye